Chisora Fury fight there. How do you see that fight going, Peter? Um, I think uh, Fury can go and do a job here and use his boxing, but he's clever. He's got good punches, he's got good punches. 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 He's got good the preparation was good, you know, we've done a lot of sparring with him. I've worked with John Murray as well, good gentleman as well. So obviously Mitchell knew that I'd work with John Murray. I didn't give no secrets away because John's a friend as well. But uh, I knew our class was a 50-50 fight, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and, and in terms of your, your own career, well, well, we haven't seen you out in a little bit. What's, what's been happening here? Well, I'm back with John Bremen Island um, in Belfast. I like John, he's a great trainer. But I don't know whether I'll be able to get back over there. It's too far to go. Um, and as I've been sparring with uh, Kevin Mitchell, I think I've done a little bit of work with Jimmy Tibbs. I really like him. And that's what it looks like I'm going to go with Jimmy Tibbs. Yeah, because you were doing a lot of sparring with Andy Murray in the lead up to his European title yeah, fight over in yeah. Connemara. How did that go? Yeah. It must have been a delight for you to be back home there in Connemara, especially. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, and a good delight to be, obviously, to sparring and preparating the number of Irish fire. You know, he was unlucky, you know, he left it too late. You know, but you now he'll come again, hopefully. And there's talk of you fighting another Irish fighter, Dean Byrne. Well, what exactly is the story behind that? Um, and Frank Warren's put a name on the table, Dean Byrne. Uh, we're trying to get it for a WBO Intercontinental title. You know, I've won the Irish title, so I want to move on. I'm proud of winning the Irish title, but I believe I've been the best man in Ireland for the Irish title in Gomez. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to move on and fight for WBO Intercontinental, and if I come through it, then look beyond that and try and get a bigger fight. You know, I deserve it. Well, you, you saw one of the leading light like, welterweights in Britain fight here tonight as well, yeah. Ashley Theo Payne. What did you think of his performance and is that another fight that you'd like to see? Yeah, it was a great performance, I mean, but, you know, he stopped Jason Cook, but Jason Cook only had four rounds and he had no disrespect to Jason Cook, he was a great fighter, but I think his time's gone. We were supposed to have the fight, actually, fair pain, it was made, and the ball turned it down because I lost against uh, in, in the prize fighter, but I believe I should have, you know, I should have got a shot at him. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, so you've got a busy season next uh, coming up uh, ahead of you, and we're likely to see you in against maybe Tia Payne or Byrne in the, in, before the end of the year. Yeah, whoever, whoever long as we get the long as we get the time, you know, probably get the proper time, not a week, two weeks. I'm a 12 round fighter, and I'll prove it. I'll come through. I'm, I'm going to be a Cinderella man of Ireland without a doubt. And listen, all them 32 and 0 records, 31 and 0, whatever records you want, I've got some real fighters. I'm a real fighter, and I really believe that I'll become Max Richards. I really believe that. Alright, listen, good luck to the, in the next season and thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much.